So guys, all real match new to fans. So we have a surprise here. The first A14 is out. He has also given a drive link, no other link, so that you will have issues. Just download it fast. So how to flash? Like the way you need A14 TWRP recovery, flash the ROM, format data, and reboot. So we'll be doing that. I have downloaded it. So currently I am using Pixel OS, which is the latest build. So everything works fine on it guys uh, after a long long time update came from peter it's already 1 11 am guys it's night time my friends are already sleeping so i'm recording in uh, low voice because i want to flash it today only i don't want to keep it for tomorrow so let's get started just uh, reboot to wrp and we are ready to go make sure to remove a password else uh, but it should not be issue because you can always uh, give a password at TWRP and uh, you can proceed. So reboot to recovery. Wait for your device to boot. So hi guys, we have booted into TWRP. So just need to come here and flash your ROM. It's uncompressed, I'm sure. Yeah, so just flash it. As you can see, the toughest logo is here as well. Is not it? Yeah. I'll try to take a photo of this as well so that I can add on my photo banner whatever flashing the system partition vendor partition product partition so let it be done security patch is of January oh god oh god oh god Security patch guys is of January. Can you believe it? It's unbelievable, right? So just format data type yes That has been formatted everything is right. Let's reboot Wait for a device to boot. Actually, I have never tried this toughest Today for the first time I'm trying toughest on this device GT Neo 2. Hopefully it boots fine. Okay, so the first has booted. It will take some time, so I have to wait for it. Uh, let me turn this light off. Let's see how does it look. Huh? Okay, you can see how it looks, right? It looks nice, right? Okay, now it is not able to focus. Lol. Okay, I guess I have to turn the light on. Now it is able to focus. Okay. Uh, waiting for the device. Okay. Welcome to your Darfest. Our device has booted. Let's set it up and then we'll proceed. Connect to mobile network. Mobile network is already there. It's not an issue. So, guys, let me first set it up. Then we'll talk. Just wait. It will take some time. Connect to mobile network. We'll use Wi Fi obviously. Let me first connect to Wi Fi, then we will. Yeah. Wi Fi access has been given. NFC has been turned down by default. So NFC works as well on this A14 build. Uh, let's wait for it to be back up. Yeah. I guess turning this off makes something better, right? I am having a little bit some issues with it, but it looks nice, no? Yeah, yeah, I know my keyboard is good. Yeah, yeah, I know. Also, my laptop as well. No, it's, it's not a gaming laptop. I have actually, but I don't use it. Let's set up our device first. Anyways, I'll turn on the light. It's not looking good, no? Okay, let me set up the pin, guys. Then we'll talk. Everything looks fine. Fingerprint we'll do later. Press unlock also later. I don't want to use now. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. So we have put it directly. No message, nothing such. Okay, okay, okay. This is the top space which I was talking about. Hell lot of customizations. Okay. We'll talk about it tomorrow. For now, this should be the installation video, should be enough for now. Okay, so yeah, see you guys.
What's up guys, so I was using the first, the build came, uh, okay, how to get the link, you have to join here, Blackman X Rooms, you will get it, the group link, uh, I mean the discussion link is uh, hidden, but uh, it is not a problem, uh, you can get the link directly from here, also I will also drop the link in the description, so coming to the topic, so I was using this from a week now, and trust me, like uh, for A14 Rooms, this is one of the best rooms, and the only room which has the battery life thing fixed actually there are no uh, that this uh, big amount of battery drops or whatever it is the same the battery backup you know you will get the same as you are getting in a 13 it's almost on par now uh, peter has done really really excellent work just hope that he will make things public so that other guys other uh, developers can also add this on their own rooms now this uh, roughest is totally stable however after the first uh, boot there will be some bugs like on the lock screen the icons will appear somewhat different and some slight jitters just do a restart and your device will be perfect however there is no viper x no uh, that uh, one plus camera or no dolby on it but 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 a new update is here okay this update came on january 16 i didn't uh, flash it because i was waiting for some more news you can see that 4k 60 has been worked around with it and 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 one 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 excellent news the new build which came just yesterday only as you can see january 18 today is 19 has dolby atmos can you believe it so we'll be flashing the new build uh, just now after i complete this video Definitely guys if you are on A14 and want a really stable uh, room for your device must try the first A14 you will need uh, A14 firmware you can see that it needs uh, EX700 or whatever that is called F14 firmware that's it and also I like the notification panel of the first reminds me of the old days when I was using POCO F1 uh, so yeah and with gaming i play genshin and vgmi mostly but uh, the device is already uh, two years plus so i'm not getting that much of battery life but for me without gaming at all i'm getting over six hours of battery so that's excellent for me with gaming i'll get less i know that and genshin is a bad battery hogger so yeah literally it has very very few bucks but with one uh, reboot you can fix most of it uh, someone said that he is having mic issues however i didn't have any mic issues i talked on whatsapp i talked on telegram i did normal calls i had no issues so no issues from my side as well so yeah see you guys wait 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 see guys another update has arrived i was just going to flash it yesterday night i fell asleep uh, because i was so tired and what i see in the morning is that we have another build uh, XFAT drivers have been added. You can finally connect your XFAT in your custom ROMs in Realme GT Neo 2. It is uh, the best thing that has ever happened. I don't have to format it uh, once again. Added more Wi Fi display blobs. I don't know what it is. I have to ask them. Maybe it's a better display or the Wi Fi issue. I'm not sure about it. We'll ask him and what i saw was that some guy reported uh, less audio on speaker using dolby so he has added that as well and uh, power hint something so that is related with the battery so we'll be flashing this yeah so process is always the same you have to reboot your little rp flash the custom rom then format data type yes then reboot you don't need to flash from our guys don't follow any other guides was saying you need to flash firmware just every time if you are coming from e realme UI latest which has the latest firmware you don't need to be flashing firmware every time so yeah let's begin first we'll reboot to tdlp let it reboot so we are in tdlp now as i said you need to just flash the rom and then uh, format data then reboot okay it is really really installing very quickly yeah? it's the fastest you can say 
it has the general security patch so lovely just wait for it to be done and uh, yeah so guys installation was success now we just need to format data and we are done make sure to backup because if you haven't backed up then rip your data type yes here once done click here <sighs> to format data it's done just reboot you can do also my going back and then reboot but it's wait for it to boot it will take some time and then you are done so toughest logo has already started loading you can already see first boot will take some time so wait for it will hardly be done in one or two minutes max doesn't take that much okay so we have booted yeah connect to mobile network i have mobile network okay it will take some time okay okay fine 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 now it has detected okay let me log in logged in to the wi-fi it took some time i forgot my password had to check what was my password of the wi-fi uh, let it boot it will take some time uh, then it will ask to log in we can do it later uh, what i'll check is the idle drain that's what what he has said that he has fixed it so yeah that will be a thing to check rest things does not matter that much so yeah We'll also check some BGMI and all at night because at night only I play, I don't play other time. So how does it work? Let me set up a pin first. So this will do later. This works fine. I am aware of it. Okay. <coughs> fine, fine, fine. All right, so we have the latest version of Rufus now. We'll test it for some days and then we'll let you guys know.